Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. Okay, so today I'll be unboxing my new mobile game controller and it's the Joso mobile game controller and it's compatible with Android, iPhone and PC. Okay, so this controller, I purchased it from Amazon UK and it cost me £22.99 pence, and it comes in quite a few different colours, white, black, blue, blue and red, camo, green, grey and pink. Okay, so this is it and this is the box that it comes in, so we've got a picture of the controller. However, mine is not the red and blue, it's white. I decided to go with the white colour. So yeah, here on the side, it just lets us know some of the specs. So it has a telescopic stand, 400 milliamp hour battery. It supports Steam Deck, Windows 7 to Windows 11, Android 6 Plus, and also iOS 13.4 Plus. And there's some features here on the back. So this product adopts ergonomic design and feels comfortable with stretching and shrinking function. It can stretch and store mobile phones with different lengths of 135 to 165 millimeters. It adopts Bluetooth 5.0 EDR connection and the handle is connected with mobile phones and other hosts through Bluetooth, support Android and Hong Ming, I'm not sure what that is, HID, standard mode and play all kinds of games that support Android 6 and above systems, support iOS 13, 4 and above, iOS 13.4 and above systems, support MFI games, download from App Store and Arcade, support Bluetooth connection of Windows, 7 Windows 11 system, laptop and play X input games, support Steam Deck game. Also got another picture here of the controller with LED1, LED2, LED3, the left stick, also the power button, charging input, select, start, the right stick and the buttons A, B, X and Y. And this is the underneath of the controller. As you can see, it's got two triggers there. So yeah, let's take it out of the box. So this controller, it's supposed to work with pretty much every game that you can download from the Google Play Store. So here's the charging connector cable. And this is the controller. And it also comes with this mobile wireless gamepad user manual. Perfect, works for COD and Apex Legend games, compatible with iOS and Android and Steam Deck and PC. So you can use this controller with Steam Deck and also your Windows PC. So yeah, this is the controller guys. So we've got the left joystick here and the right joystick here. And we've got the buttons X, A, B and Y. Up, left, down and right. And the power button here. And we've got the select button. And this is the STA button. And underneath we've got two trigger buttons. So M2 and M1. I think you can configure these two buttons underneath as well. Okay, so I'm just going to pair it to the phone. So there's two pairing modes. The first pairing mode is to hold down the power button and the X button for roughly three seconds. And then the second pairing mode is to hold down the power button and the RB button. So this is the best option to pair it to the phone. Hold down the power button and the RB button. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I have my 
Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra here. So I'm just going to turn on the Bluetooth. Okay, so my Bluetooth is turned on. And I'm going to hold down the power button and RB. So hold it down for about three seconds till you see the lights flashing. And as you can see now on the phone, it's showing up Xbox wireless controller. And now it's requesting to pair. And now it's connected. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop the phone into here. Okay, so it's gone off again. Let's just reconnect it. Okay, so it's connected. Okay. So, like I said, this controller works with pretty much all the games. I'm not sure if it works with Genshin Impact or PUBG. However, it's supposed to work with everything else. So, I'm just going to turn down the volume and start up a game. And we'll test it out. Okay guys, so um, as you can see, the power light stays on. So this is the power light. As you can see, the buttons are nicely illuminated. So let's just select Xbox. And now everything's set up, ready to go. So yeah, let's test out Call of Duty. See how well the controller works whilst playing COD Mobile. And I'm just gonna say it takes about two to three hours to fully charge this controller. And once it's fully charged, you can get between 10 to 15 hours of playback depending on how you you use the controller So as you can see, the buttons are perfectly mapped out automatically. So once you connect the controller to the phone via the Bluetooth, you're good to go. You don't have to actually remap anything. And you can still use the on screen buttons if you want. Enemy in sight. Enemy down. XS1 Goliath is ready. XS1 Goliath is coming. Sentry gun deployed.
And also it has zero latency as well. I forgot to mention that guys. So as you can see, I'm just totally beasting when I'm using the controller. So much easier to play. And it does feel like it's got a slight bit of aim assist. Alright guys, so let's try another game real quick. So let's fire up um, Lego Batman. Don't worry, Robin. We've got him cornered. Okay, so you can see the controller works well with Lego Batman. Don't want to make the video too long, guys. So let's try Asphalt 9. Okay, so it works good with Asphalt 9, no issues there. Okay, I don't have PUBG installed. GTA San Andreas.
Underwear is overrated, man. Man, this is so ghetto. Okay guys, so as you can see the controller works perfectly well with GTA, San Andreas. There's no issues at all. It's just like playing it on your PlayStation or Xbox. okay so yeah guys that's it so this is definitely a good controller if you're looking for a cheap controller that you can use to play all your favorite android games this is definitely one to check out from amazon uk the price is 23 pounds 99 call it 24 pounds yeah um, like I says, um, I don't think it works with Genshin Impact or PUBG. However, it does work with most other Android games on the Google Play Store. Anyway, that's it for the video. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you have any more questions, leave the questions in the comment section down below. And I will try help to answer those questions. It's your boy the Android Doctor and I'll see you in the next one guys. I'm out. Deuces.